And it's just me. Unless Alex just walks in again. No? No? Okay. So I can say it. Why? Why ship Izuku and Katsuki? And I have nobody alongside me to just give me an evil glare. I don't. Why? I probably will in season two or season three or season whatever. But uh, for now, I'm just going to, you know, put my hands on my hips. And I'm just going to be like, why? Why? <laughs> I, I mean... I'm confuddled. I am confuddled about how that, you know, computes, especially with them, you know, having so much hatred for each other. Well, not so much Izuko, but Katsuki, yeah. Um, but... <laughs> Hello everyone, Liam Kettleson here, and today we're going to be reacting to episode 8 of My Hero Academia, which is called Bakugo's Start Line. So, last time out was really, really fun. Um, not just reacting with Tortured Boy. Um, which is something I can cross off to my, on my to-do list. But, um, also, um, the episode in general, seeing basically Deku versus Kao-chan, it was an absolute blast. Not the action, uh, the, because there were, you, you get the joke. Don't explain it, Liam. Don't. Anywho, uh, yeah, it was really, really great. Uh, not just the battle itself, and not just how intense it got, uh, even had All Might on edge, but exploring the character of Katsuki. Like, we saw the superiority complex and how that has manifested into something that he has, you know, basically ridden with. Like, he, he has, um, I guess, had this um, life journey riding onto that superiority. And we saw that how that, you know, became a really, really focused um, thing when he uh, was basically bollocking uh, Izuko about the fact that he assumes that he has hidden this quirk from him all of his life only because he didn't, he thought that Izuko was better than him. Um, but of course he doesn't know the full truth about All Might. So it was just really, really good exploring that superiority and how that has you know kind of molded him like it, it's it's become a part of him and you know he's always thought of himself better than anyone else and yeah it was just really really you know superb stuff to see throughout uh, as well as the Tenye and Ochako um, scenario which Tenye like I said was just the absolute best in that episode it was just <sighs> It was just bizarre with his, you know, about how villainous he got, like, uh, of course, uh, pretending to be the villain. But it was just really, really bizarre, and I'll never get over it. And then, of course, he lost. So, well, his team lost. It was him and Katsuki, of course. But they lost in traditional style. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited to see what this episode has on offer, because the last time we saw Katsuki just done, it, he was done. I mean... Izuko won. In his eyes, he beat him. But Izuko carried that um, message that I can't beat him, but I can win. So, But in, in Katsuki's eyes, um, this is about always besting him. Um, I mean, he doesn't want to kill him. No, by no means. Um, and if I say he wants to kill him with love in the comments, I will rain hell. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, he doesn't want to kill him. He just wants him to feel that, that pain that, um, you know, he wants to dominate him. Don't even get any ideas. I know what I'm saying with my words. But uh, no, he, he does. And um, in Katsuki's eyes, he's going to feel that uh, despite Izuko's message, he's going to feel that he's bested him. So it's going to be very, very interesting to delve into this episode. And yeah, let's just get on with it. I'm really, really excited to see. Uh, extended reactions. I'm not sure if uh, it'll be full at this point, uh, like in terms of the length, but I'm doing Patreon as well. So full, extended, whatever reaction this is, will be up on Patreon. So with that said, let's go. <laughs> Backlash of my power. Kind of love the music as well. And this flashback. But this was all that I could think of. In order to win. This is the only way I had any chance at winning. 
There we go. Shook him. Got really fought. If we didn't hold back at all, Deku would beat me with his sword. He's having. He's. He's having. Your jets. Let's go review your work. Whether you win or lose, you can always take something away from an experience like this. As long as you're open to learn. Always room for improvement as well. He's having a crisis, but he's always Despite had that superiority. The, the MVP of this exercise is young Ida. <laughs> what? It was clouded by a personal grudge against Midoriya. As he That's pointed true. out earlier, launching a large-scale attack indoors was a foolish move. It could have been disastrous. Yeah, it could have brought down the building. Similarly, Midoriya's plan was also Same, yeah, it, same with all the uh, damage. All might with uh, he rendered Izuko. He lost sight of his mission to protect the dummy weapon, even if he was foiled in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, they showed team one, yes, but they took advantage of the fact that this was training. They didn't respect yes. the spirit of the tribe. Okay, understandable, understandable. <laughs> Everyone's just like, what a nerd. This girl really has a good eye on her. Yes. Well, you overlooked a few things. Young Eda could have relaxed a little <laughs> oh, bit my the Don't. Uh, just don't look, okay? What's the difference? <laughs> look alive, kids! Show us your <laughs> Oh my god! Or feeble! Let's go! I doubt we're gonna get much focus on, you know, these guys compared to Izuko and Katsuki, but... Quirk Dupla Arms! He can replicate different body parts on the tips of his tentacles. Well, that's super oh, strange. Oh, no. Yeah, that is strange. That is... One's in the hall on the north side of the fourth floor, and I think the other's on the same level somewhere. Oh! Both barefoot. Oh, 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 my feet are stuck! This quirk is insane. Good luck. But it might be hard to fight me with no skin on the bottom of your feet. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's all my feeling the chill. Without compromising the weapon or his teammates, take close note of his technique, students. Whoa, he's so strong. He's absolutely uh, dominating this. The hero team wins! Done. Done. No chill, some would say. <laughs> He's just whipping out like uh, at the uh, oh no oh no yeah I was gonna say he's just whipping out the oh sh such staggering positivity to my alma mater that's all for now folks positivity I go and check on young Victoria's progress now watch how a pro exits like he's got someone to me. <sighs> Okay, That's how you make an exit. A hero. Oh, I'll never be able to run that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Young Bakugo really is overflowing with pride. His uh -huh. ego may be justified. He needed to see that he was capable of winning the exercise. Oh yeah. So also, intervene. will you please not talk so loudly about one for all when anyone around you could hear? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Mr. Natural Born Hero. Mr. <laughs> Symbol of Peace. <laughs> So she knows everything Several about him, like about the inheritance. In this weak form, like the UA faculty and a certain group of pro heroes, for example. However, only a select few people know the secret of one for all. As you, the principal, and a very close friend of mine. Young Midoriya too, of course, but no one else knows the truth about my powers. Ooh. You're the number one hero in the world. Why wasn't? The temptation of this power could corrupt our society. This quirk. Those who wield it are responsible for mankind's safety. Could be a bit of a bummer if well, people if found that's the case, out the it's truth. Even more important for you to be a good guide. You're right. I'm assuming, she, you know, her abilities. Young man, you too can become a hero. I'm assuming her abilities can't fix up his this injuries. So there, there is limitations, like there is with Izuko at the minute. Bird guys just like noisy. Koko <laughs> Yami! Stop using that desk as a chair! Get off of it this instant! Dude, you need to chill. <laughs> yes, chill! You're carrying a lot of tension. <laughs> Eden never relaxes, does he? Nope. So, Unless anyways, he's just fell on this. Sometime? Yeah. What kind of stuff you like? Uh-oh. Anything sweet? Uh, hey, Speaking of sweet! I heal your injuries! Oh! I 
haven't told anyone this secret. Not even my mom. Oh, shh. I have to tell you something. Oh, Maybe my. Then you'll understand what's been going on. I wasn't hiding my quirk from you. It was given to me by someone else recently. Oh, my God. But I can't tell you who I got it from, so don't ask. Sounds crazy. I'll work until I have full control of this borrowed quirk. And I'll finally beat you with my own power. <laughs> oh, crap. What am I saying? I only meant to tell him that I wasn't tricking him. And then you now go. How dumb do you think I am? Uh-oh. Borrowed power? He's not going to talk to me like I'm an idiot. I was watching that ice guy. I you realized I couldn't beat him in a head-to-head -head fight. Launching a large-scale attack indoors was a foolish move. Crap! I even oh, wow. agree with what that girl said! My attack was so stupid! Oh, damn! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You'll never beat me again, you bastard. Don't even try. Part two. Part two. Well, you certainly have the abilities to become a pro hero. There's still plenty you have to learn. Let go of me, All Might. <laughs> right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's not feeling jolly. Save Come on. Speeches. I'll be more famous than you, and I'll do it without your help. Shh. Uh. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. I get what were you saying to Bakugo before I arrived so heroically? <laughs> oh, nothing special. Hmm? I'm so curious. Why don't you tell me all the juicy details? Um, actually. <gasps> what a gossip kind of guy. What do you think will happen? Uh oh. When the mighty symbol of peace. Oh shh is finally killed by the villains. Well, yeah, not happening, not happening at all. Ah, turn it off. I don't want to know what happens next time. That's a tease. That's a great tease to what is to come. Um Yeah, I I'm, I'm really ready for like to see what happens now because uh, it seems like uh, darker times are upon us. Um which is great, which is always great. Actually, where is my... I'm just going to charge this up first. Hey, awesome. But uh, as I was going to say... I can't get it in. I can't get it in. There we go. Um, yeah, that was really, really great of an episode. Uh, there wasn't... It, of course, it was more of a cool-down episode than the last couple were. I mean, it was pretty, pretty heated, uh, pun not intended, in the last couple of episodes. But... We still got to see a lot of juicy stuff, especially Katsuki and his damaged, um, his damaged personality. Like, he, he had a very, very hard time during this episode, of course, still suffering from the loss from Izuko and, uh, is still wondering what the hell is going on, especially with the fact that there was a lot of, uh, things that excelled, uh, above him, such as, uh, Todoroki, um, because he complimented him, he um, complimented the person who was saying, oh, well, Tenye deserves the MP, uh, MVP of uh, that battle because of how everyone else was incompetent um, or, you know, posed a risk in this, uh, should I say. But yeah, he ha he's got a lot of demons to battle with. Um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to say um, to probably clear his head a bit. He's got a lot of demons to battle with sub, uh, subconsciously because he's having a hard time processing anything right now. I mean, the, on the only shots we really got to see of him, apart from his rage at Izuku at the very end, declaring he will beat him again, was him just de dejected. And it was a very, very good insight to see how damaged his pride was. So I really, really enjoyed um, seeing that. But I mean, I don't think there was... I mean, apart from the villain scene, which was uh, a really, really, you know, scary foreshadowing, I guess. There wasn't really, I don't know, much to speculate on. Um, apart from the fact that the nurse, of course, knows about All Might, his secret. The fact that, um, um, that Izuko had inherited the All Might... Uh, inherited... You know the uh, one for all quirk. Um, I'll get on to you know everyone in their battles, of course, um, as well, because we focused on a few other members as well, but they weren't as heavily focused as the um, Tenye 
or Chaco and um, um, Izuka. I don't know why I'm struggling to speak today, but the uh, yeah, the that battle they weren't as focused on heavily, but uh, yeah, um, the nurse knows about that, so that's really really uh, neat stuff as well. Uh, I'm assuming she can't, you know, fix up All Might's injury. Uh, it seems like it has those limits, like especially with how many times Izuko, you know, is um, severely injured. Um, she can't, you know, keep doing this over and over again. So um, it seems like, it's, especially with how brutal it seemed uh, to be for All Might, it's a no-go. Um, but I just love that discussion, though, when she uh, was she, when she was talking about him being a, a symbol of peace and all and all that, and uh, you know, All Might was discussing the importance of that. So I thought that was really, really good. Um, I love everyone just geeking out. Um, about Izuko in that battle, like when he returned to class, and it was just really, uh, really good stuff. Especially Tenye going back to his normal. Like we had a taste, uh, a taste of his villainy, but you know this was just really, really. Uh, it was really, really good to see him back to his Tenye self. I guess uh, is. Uh, I guess you could say that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, being so, so stupid, super strict. And like I said, he needs to relax, to chill and all that. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, the battles weren't as heavily focused, but it was still interesting to see some of the members like um, Shoto. Um, Shoto? Yeah. Shoto, uh, the, the guy who, you know, can ice and then de-ice... Um, surrounding us I guess because he could even do that with the building um so that's an uh, that's a very very interesting quirk to have especially with how it paid off really really well especially against a person with invisibility as their quirk of course that is never going to go down well in I guess coldish conditions whether it be snow or ice or whatever it's never going to go down well, so yeah. Um, I wonder if you know if you had a water quirk that would um, also work potentially. I don't know, like create puddles and then yeah, um, or something like that. Um, like if you could just produce like like how Katsuki produces fire, you could uh, produce water. So um, no, it was just really really um, fantastic stuff to see, and um, especially. Uh, all Might trying to, you know, praise, uh, well, try to, I guess, lift some weight off Katsuki's shoulders, but Katsuki with that warning at the very end, um, I will surpass you. He's been saying that since episode one, though, so, um, but he hasn't said it directly to him, and he, and I just, can I just say, I'm just loving All Might so much, um, I mean, He's been a very, very enjoyable character since the beginning, but I don't know. He seems to be so, so brilliant, uh, when, especially when he's in his All Might form. Of course, there's a nice uh, distinct difference when he is in his natural form, but I'm just loving, you know, how spontaneous and how fun he is when he's All Might. Like, um... That, like, little tease at the end when he was, like, interrogating Izuko uh, to what Katsuki and Izuko were talking about. Um, no, that... You know what? Now that I think about it, and now that I know how much Alex teased me last week, why do I have a feeling that is like Alex? Like, oh, so what did... Like, uh, and everyone else who ships Izuko and Katsuki for some reason that I'm still not sure about... Why am I sure? Why am I sure that it's like that? Like, if, like that will be the exact thing that you would say. Like all might, what all might said. Um, no, but it was just really, really fun stuff to you know see his character is just so spontaneous, and uh, you know he was like, oh well, you know having pride is great and all, and then he's like, uh, Katsuki's like whatever, and he's like, oh. So I'm just loving All Might so much at this point, but yeah, it was a really, really great episode. Um, loved the analysis from that um, per, from that um, woman who was correctly, well, who was going really, really in depth about why uh, Tenye was the MVP of, uh, and I have to agree with her. Um, so um, yeah, it was just really, really good, and Tenye's emotions was just brilliant it was just brilliant um 
I'm nervous about the villains, of course, because uh, they don't seem... Well, of course, they're not going to be a friendly bunch if they're villainous. But they have some very optimistic goals for All Might. And like I said, there's surely got to be a battle going on. Katsuki uh, can help regain that uh, pride, potentially, by being involved. But we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I do, ex like I said, I do um, expect some kind of battle to emerge um, now that they've made that promise about ending All Might, it seems. Um, All Might's not going to, you know, just take this line down. But I have a feeling there's going to be some really, really, like, especially Izuko and Katsuki, they might have to work together in order to, to stop uh, the villains. I mean, it might be, it will probably be a bit worrying for, uh, people like All Might, considering these guys, uh, like, they're still learning the ropes, I guess, with, uh, being in UA, uh, and these guys seem like they're no laughing matter, so it will be a bit worrying, but All Might might need that, uh, at the end of the day, so we'll just have to wait and see. He might need the extra support from, from Izuko, from Katsuki, We'll just have to wait and see, but it's not looking very, very good, is it? The villain thingy, my Bob. So, but um, yeah, I'm really it. Op it op opens the door for an exciting future for My Hero Academia. I mean, we've had like several jolly episodes, and now we're about to descend into darkness. Yay! So excited to see what the future holds for My Hero Academia, especially uh, with that villain tease. Um, with Katsuki, you know, wanting to be a bit, str like, he's going to come back stronger. He's made that promise to beat him. So we're going to see, um, Deku versus Kao-chan part two, potentially. Um, and then maybe, uh, cause this can form into a very, very competitive, well, it's already a competitive rivalry, but you know what I mean? It will get more physical, um, and not in that way, people. Um, no, it it can get very physical, uh, physical, and uh, uh, I'm excited to see, you know, if we do get to see a part two of uh, Deku versus Kao Chan. So we'll just have to wait and see if that does come about. But until then, yeah, it was a really, really uh, great episode, a nice cool down episode. Like I said, the uh, last two have been pretty, pretty intense. And this was a nice chill episode, so I really, really loved it. But yeah, really, really great stuff. Excited to see what the future holds for this show, and I'm really loving everything at the minute. So I will see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, you can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my Miji Pizza channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!